But in the end, smoking marijuana to blow your mind is like throwing sand in a delicate machine and hoping nothing goes wrong. What's up, tankers? Big Hundy here, bringing you triple the balance. Three E25s. I'm pretty sure one isn't very balanced, but three is certainly not balanced. Especially on a map like this. Three of them on Himmelsdorf, maybe not. Three of them on Highway. It's nuts. One of my favorite premium tanks in the game. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you what three can do. It's basically like a never ending stream of bullets and camouflage. The likes of which you have never seen before. It's a little bit of a slow start to this replay, but I assure you. Come on, you gotta park right beside me. I know we're buddies, but come on. We are bottom tier, this is a tier 8 match. The E25 only sees tier 8s. Just a never ending stream of bullets. Now I can't turn because he's right beside me. Off of my Kool-Aid, man! I got the binos, the camo net, the chocolate rockin'. I don't even care. When we lock on the same target, it's just insane. Never ending stream of bullets. I'm trying to hit the lower plate of that T29, it's not working. I get spotted, I don't even care. Can't mess with the E25 platoon. We're just raining the bullets down there every three bullets every two seconds. It's just ridiculous. Can't pen the stupid freedom. Miss that shot. Someone takes the kill. I don't even care. This is endless amounts of fun. If you ever buy a premium tank, or never buy another one again, this should be it. It's just too much fun. Six pens, seven assisted, six tracking assisted, and we're just getting started. Spot some more scrubs in the field. And let the bullets rain. We're in a party chat, but every time I spot someone, I'm telling the other E25s, Bindi and Kramer, to just rain it down on them. I'm spotted, I don't even care. Take down the kill. Just a ridiculous amount of bullets flying out into the fields. Come over here, I assume, because we haven't spotted a lot of them, that they're going to start going to our base. And I'm correct in that assumption. But they don't know who they're dealing with. I finally take a shot from the tiger, and he messes me up. I block a shot from something there, which is hilarious. Now there's quite a bit of them out there, I need to be a little bit more careful. Spot a Pershing. No problem spending him. 
With the binos and the chocolate, the assisted ribbons are flying. The view range in the camo of this tank is absolutely insane. Finals engage. There's the Pershing again. Just death by a thousand little cuts times three. Track them. I got 17 pens, 16 assisted. Only one kill, but who cares? Snapshot on the tiger pens. Just trying to stay alive here at this point. Tiger hits me. I don't even care at this point. Assisted ribbons flying up. 21 pens. 23 assisted ribbons. This platoon is just making it rain. We did lose one of them. I forget which one it is. Probably Kramer. He likes to die. Bindi likes to hide. That Pershing messed me right up. But he's the last one left and I'm hunting him down. But I get a little too cocky here. But if you don't think the E25 is balanced, just run three of them. I can't pen the front of the Persian for some strange reason. And he catches me off guard. Got a little greedy there at the end. Bindi's still alive. He likes to hide in the back. Kramer and I are dead. Let's take a look at the results. 2765 damage. 3743 assisted, 21 pens, almost a hundred thousand silver, class one mastery, and this is this is the the piss off. This was over 2,000 base XP, and not a mastery class. Oh well, that's usually my goal for mastery class is 2,000 base, but the E25 is a beast, and three E25s is even better. See you next time.